What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? This is your boy Reg in the building. What's up? It's your boy Kuji. And um, he requested me to do this album review. Anderson Peak Malibu, released in 2016. Um, <clears throat> Steel War on the OBE, OBE records and stuff like that. This is the second studio album. Very, very good album and stuff like that. Hell yes, this album is amazing. I love the vibe to every song he do. It is just amazing and very simple. Like one of the best R&B albums I've heard in a minute. Yes, and my favorite song is one we're playing now, Celebrate. That It has such an old school, just an old school feeling, and I love it. Right. But um, I'm going to get to that from the producers and the uh, singles. Man, you ain't one of them, and he goes with this school. Right. So um, singles I was known for is The Season slash Carry Me. It's actually, I believe, an EP before the album release, so I'm going to get to that. Am I Wrong, Room In Here, and Come Down. Hmm. Well, the producer, executive producer is Adrian L. Miller. Another executive producer, Katrina Taz Askew. And Kevin Moore is another executive producer. Anderson Pack produced some of his own stuff. Knife Wonder. Shout out to Knife Wonder, by the way. Callum Connor. He's not one of those people who at this school yet. And graduate. Chris Dave and the Drum Heads. Demi Joints. DJ Khalil. High Tech. Jama. Jose Rios. Like. The person named the producer named Like. Um, Kate Trinidad. Mad Lib. Shut up. Mad Lib. Pomo. And Vicky Farewell Mugen. Alright. Now, um, the, um, guest appearances include <coughs> BJ the Chicago Kid. Um, Don't Sing her, by the Way. Under, um, Top Dog Entertainment. Schoolboy Q. Rap City. Ooh. Yes. They're up. Rap City. Um, who else was, um, the Free Net, the Free Nationals United Fellowship Choir. The Game and Sonia Ellis. And Talent Quali and the Timman Family Choir. He has some dope artists on this right. album. Mm-hmm. Now, um, Anderson Peck, um, he, he's originally, <coughs> he's a singer from, oh, damn, I have to cheat a little bit there. He's a singer from Oxnard, California. You know, he got to start by just singing. He like, he likes to sing a lot, and he's a mix of black and Korean. Hmm. Yeah. And so he got exposure in 2011. You know, he started seeing everyone live to love his stuff. And 2012, he dropped, um, I think, two EPs called The Love Boy and OBE Volume 1 under the name Breezy Lovejoy. Fast forward to 2013. He did like an all covers, another EP with all covers, and he was inspired by like white artists of the 1950s and stuff like that. And yeah, very, very dope EP. Oh, yeah. He didn't really get towards like 2014 when he released Venice, and that was his debut album as Anderson Pete. And we Pack. Pack, excuse me. I don't know why I say Pete, though. <laughs> <laughs> I like Pete. But like, fast forward to 2015. Dr. Dre put out the Compton album. And he was nearly on every song. Every song. Like, and oh like, my gosh. I was like, this is a bad guy on every song, and I like it. Yeah, and I, a lot of people were like, who is this cat singing? And so he later on appeared on the Games Documentary 2 album. Which is amazing. Documentary 2 and 2.5. Very dope album. <laughs> I have to do a review on that possibly later on this year. And then he got signed to Aftermath. Early this year, you feel like everybody who is like co-signed by Dre is right. gonna be popping like Eminem, right. right? Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick. Now Anderson Pack is about to be one of those guys. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. know, with like people like Kendrick and Dre, I feel like they're gonna like push him. Like he's gonna be like really up there with like Frank Ocean and um, what's the 
also a one cat to me. Weekend, man. You could say weekend. You could say that, but he's more like pop now. Okay, so Frank Ocean and and D'Angelo. Yeah, D'Angelo. Yeah, D'Angelo. Miguel. Yeah, you could say Miguel. But yeah, <coughs> so you know, I'm good. The album cover, very very dope album cover. It kind of reminds me of some. It reminds me just like a peaceful journey. Like you ever see those? You you ever hear like the saying, if you were like on a stranded island, what would you take? Kind of shit. This it's like he's on a journey, and all those things that's in the ocean is what he has been basically imagining, creating, and putting into his song. Mm-hmm. Right. And so, yeah, kind of like some psychedelic kind of pictures here with the females, him playing the piano. In boxes. Right. I had been wondering that until I finally realized, oh, this nigga in his boxes. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to jump right into the songs, bro. And cast 16 songs. Number one. First song is um The Bird. I'm going like, to play like a couple of seconds of it as usual. So If y'all haven't heard this album, you need to hear it. It's on YouTube. You put it on this YouTube channel. Kind of reminds me. Well, he's talking about like the hardships he had with his youth, mm-hmm. his mom's gambling problem, mm-hmm. father's absence in his life. Wow. And like the song kind of reminds me of this of the Marvin Gaye song Sparrow, off the mm-hmm. My Dear album. Mm-hmm. You hear that one? Sparrow? Yeah. No. Very good song. Check out the whole song and album and stuff. I got you, bro. And basically, he just looks at the bird as like a way to uplift him and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Guide him. Guide him. And so that's why I kind of compare it to that in a way. Very dope song. Very, very dope song. Um, Almost definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, so the next song, Heart Don't Stand a Chance, is my favorite song off the album. And it kind of like gives this concept about he's in love with this girl. And he's going to mention this girl throughout this whole album. Mm-hmm. So Heart Don't Stand a Chance. One of my Probably my favorite song off this album. That's what I always hear that shit. I thought it was just me. I thought I had a Yoshi sound effect. <laughs> Okay, so this basically begins one of the concerts of Al, how he's talking about this girl he meets and he's he's digging her. I think he meets her like in some clothes, some party, he's digging her. She she's digging him too, but she does not want to admit it, so hence the title heart don't stand a chance. I know many people experience that everywhere. Mm-hmm. The girl digs you but she just don't want to say anything. Right. And vice versa. And like 
One of my favorite lyrics <coughs> on the song is like, see, I be catching you still, be careful, the out of mind, it's a dangerous place to be left in, but keep your eyes on me, your heart don't stand a chance, it feels like it's been far too long, your knees can't hold your legs, your feet just want to pace, the eyes keep me all in trail. I was like, whew. Wow. Damn. Wow, that's an eye opener for me. <laughs> and that's what got my attention from the dude, like his wordplay, lyricism. Yes, like, this is his wordplay and, and also the instrumentals too. Mm-hmm. The uh, producer did an amazing job. Right, who produced that shit? Um, you said Khalil? Khalil, yeah. Was it? Yeah, Khalil did that shit. He, Khalil produced that song. Um, Anderson Peake actually produced The Bird too. So. He did a great job on that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Heart Don't Stand a Chance, very good song. I want to know a producer named Mike. That's interesting. Yeah, what a producer named Mike? Yeah. Okay, you can just that one right there. Hmm. Next song is um The Waters, featuring BJ the Chicago Kid. Motown, The Antelope. That's what I call it. This like is only less than three minutes. One thing, like, it is less than three minutes for a song like this. Nah, it need to be about five. <laughs> oh. We need more. Records like records like celebrate the bird waters like his most personal stuff he has done, and he wasn't really ready to expose that side of him yet, but he just kept writing and writing and writing, and boom, there it is. And so yeah, very dope song right there, the waters. Next song, is on the season, carry me. This is a very very. I have to wonder if produce this part of the song. Thank you. 
Hit him up. I'm the president of the me now. Okay, so the season, this part was produced by Ninth Wonder. Basically what I got from that is like, they're talking about how down to earth he is, how he doesn't really let the fame change him like certain celebrities and how one line he's like, I can't let this kill me like my favorite entertainers. And that line kind of spoke a lot of volumes for me because like a lot of my favorite entertainers, they let the fame get to their head. Like, I'm not going to name names, though, but they just let the fame get to the head, and it just got to the point where they lost control of themselves. And it's kind of sad, though, you know, really sad. Fuck yeah, man. Mm. Got anything? Fame does not buy you. The fame does not make you happy all the time. Mm. It can get you where you always wanted to go, but it cannot not supply what you need. It really cannot. And um, then we have Carry Me, which is the blue side of Callum. Um, he was talking, this is like the most powerful part of the song. Like, I know a lot of fans love this song. It's talking about how the hood life, describing his hood life before he was even famous. And it's like his upbringing, like where he grew up at in the and shit. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next song is um, Put Me Through. We're about to get back to the topic of that girl he's been talking about throughout this album. Okay, so at the end of Um Care Me, he's like in the therapy office and he's talking about the trouble like this girl's putting him through, like she's very dominant in bed and and like, I'm not it's not I'm not laughing about that though, but it's like this kinda of reminds me of a certain episode with my friend and shit like that, but he he's talking about how guys use her for her body and shit like that. She lets that get to the head. And so, yeah, another relatable track because, you know, you have some of these females that they let the body take control of them and shit, but... This body is a form of art created by God. Mm -hmm. It's not used to be taken advantage of. Facts. Yeah. And Anderson, Anderson actually produced that song, too. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good song right there. Track number six, Am I Wrong, featuring Schoolboy Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like that. <laughs> right, he sounds just like him. Love that, I love this beat. Well, uh, I think I got that GTA 5 just driving. Right. Like he's just chilling, driving around with people. Mm -hmm. He's just getting this song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this song is nice. Well, uh, oh, excuse me. Just chilling. I'm only coming out to play. Not even GTA 5, it's kind of reminds me like Mario City and shit. Oh! Mm -hmm. Yes! Yeah. That's my second favorite GTA. That's the first one. Man, Vice City and man. Can't forget about two cars. Let me get to Schoolboy Q's part. You want to hear that boy Schoolboy spit? Uh, 
see um that's like a very like a club track but it's like a chill vibe with the club track it's more like in a club track for adults mm-hmm. not for our age just for adults right right am i wrong very good song um schoolboy q i love his flow on that i love his flow mm-hmm. on that song and schoolboy q he doesn't probably get the credit he deserves at times because i know a lot of people they talk shit about him saying that wow. he his voice is annoying but the dude can spit though like i'll be naming a couple more his voice is designer yes you know what i'm not going to talk about designer this is a strictly hip music based channel hip-hop hip-hop r&b this is about let's know I'm going to do a spit knowledge about what I think about that motherfucker, but anyway, put me, I mean, excuse me, ooh, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Dope, dope, dope song. If you out with your partners or if you out with your girl, perfect song to play. Now, your favorite female rapper of today is doing the next song, Without You, featuring our Rap City. Ooh. Rap City kills us. Bars, bars. Hey, hey. I, I, I love you. You, you know we should, what other R&B song you should do? <laughs> the music's so tough. Right? <coughs> yeah, I, gotta, I gotta get that one in and it's just empty him for the album. Ooh, it's in the name of the song. Every time you hear that voice, you already know who's on the track. When I first heard Far Gone by Music Soul Child, I was like, oh, it did this. <laughs> okay, Emma, I know it. Without you, now, he's trying to proclaim his love for this girl he's been talking about, like, a heart don't stand a chance of putting through. And Rap City, is he, she is, like, in a female perspective of that, of the girl. And she just kills it. As always. As always. Rap City, I mean, she won a Grammy. Won a Grammy. Um, her album, dope. She's blowing up right now and stuff. She's very blowing up. And see, that's the thing. She is like, <coughs> she is gonna bring that shit back with a female rapper, like the female MC. Female yeah. MC. She can be hard, but she can have a soft side too. I love that about a female MC. All these. Female MCs these days. I don't call them MCs. I mean, yo. Like, I, yeah, there's a difference between an MC and a rapper. Mm-hmm. Like, she and Tink, some yeah. of my favorites. You also got Kay Valentine. Okay, Valentine. And she's beautiful, yo. Woo! Just look up Kay Valentine's song, uh, Shy Rack Remix. She did a remix of that. She Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. And she's and like, um, might want to produce, produce a song too. She's telling Quilly's protege. Right. And I love the sample that he did with this one. Alright, now, um, parking lot. Um. This is an alright song. Connected by 
back when I guess when I was packing, I was packing it got knocked over. <laughs> okay, that's a solid song. I mean, that beat, the beat is like a chilled kind of beat and stuff like that. It's like a song you just chill on the couch. Right. You go to sleep and just chill. listen to the song in your dreams. Mm -hmm. Track number nine, um, Lightweight, featuring the free national... We ain't gonna talk about Parker Lights. Yeah. I can talk about it. I mean, I mean... It's a good song. I mean, it's not like one of my favorite favorites of the album, but it's still a good song. You want, you want those things? Well, like you said, parking lot. To to be honest, it's a it's a, it's a good song. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good song. Not one of my favorites on the album, but it's a pretty good song. And it's just like that song. You just really just chill and um, have a good time with uh, have some alone time, pretty much. Yeah. <coughs> And that's all you could uh, listen to and just think about a whole lot of stuff. Facts. Alright, um, Lightweight featuring Free Nationals United Fellowship Choir. Quiet add like a gospel feel to it. Funky. Funky gospel. No, wait, not a like gospel funk feel. Yeah. Let me let me watch my words because you know I like to watch it. I like yeah. But um, what I got what I um what I got from that song is how he's basically talking about how the black community is always hiding in fear and then they're, they're scared to move ahead. Hence the title like lightweight because they feel like they're just lightweights and stuff. Like they feel like they don't speak up enough. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I can see his point of view on that. There are times when African Americans speak up mm -hmm. at the wrong stuff, <laughs> but they don't speak up at the important stuff most of the time. Exactly. Because there are times when there's black on black violence. Sometimes black people don't speak on that. Yep, they always jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> They always jump on a bandwagon when they, when like brothers like harass the police, but like they always talk about black on black crime. When brothers harass themselves. Right, you're right. But they don't talk about none of that shit. They're always talking about, you know, the typical stuff like police brutality and shit like that, and mm -hmm. cure for AIDS, and which I'm not really gonna get all that political right now. <coughs> But yeah, that's basically what I think about the whole situation, and I'm glad he made a song about this. Mm -hmm. I definitely need to fix my webcam. Alright. 
track. Next song. Rumin here featuring the game and Sonia Elise. Produced by um, Like. Like. Yes. Uh, like. I declare a game as a hip hop artist. Yeah, I keep kind of far off a little bit, but the documentary is too, too far far. No, that whole album, like, it really had that. He's really hip hop. I could call him a hip hop artist. Yeah. He could truly spit. Right. He don't have to talk about gangs all the time. Yeah. I mean, that could get boring once in a while. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah you're right. It can get boring. Like, he didn't, he didn't do that in, uh, let me see what song he barely talked about it, though. Was it Quick Boy? I love that song, though, because it really goes like that. I think outside, I don't think outside. <clears throat> but I know from Adam, oh yeah. That was a deep, that was a deep song. Let me get through this part. Track number 11, Waterfall, just an, just an interlude right there. I like a conclusion of Room in Here. Um, track number 12, Your Prime. And yeah, this is when he's talking about the same girl again. The girl means a lot to this man. Oh, 
talking about these two R&B singers who are arguably my favorite singers of all time. My favorite artists. Hmm? I don't even know who you're talking about. I'll explain that after this video. Gotcha. But I think my viewers know who I'm talking about. But I'm saying over 18. Age ain't nothing but a number. Now, let's get back. <laughs> On to the next. On to the next one. Calm down. Calm down. Very, very High Tech producers join. Shout out to Mr. High Tech. Um, John, what? Mm. That's like another club track, and he's basically talking about getting drunk and high, basically. And very, very dope, very dope song. I mean, it's like a party track and shit like that. So, you got anything to say about Come Down? It's just that funk. It's just like that beat. Yeah, that beat is just very like uh, funky. Makes you want to be at a barbecue. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of um something I would hear from Bring My Souls, Three Feet High Rising. That beat. Mm -hmm. Mixed in with a little bit of um, the roots, something you would hear from the roots, things fall mm -hmm. apart. <coughs> clearly, clearly, we both love this shit. 
I um Silicon Valley. Yes, another one of my favorite. Next to Heart Don't Stand a Chance. This is like my favorite song off of the album. Are you ready? I don't think y'all ready for this. Uh, I don't think y'all ready for this. Let's still do it. Let's be prepared. Yeah. All of that ass you carry it. You gotta be shitting me. All of that body that you came with. But where you mentally? I know you hear it all the time. But you ain't going here for me. I just wanna focus on the love. What's behind them tickle beaters? They say the heart is bad. Yes. Oh, this is another song I like on there. He's basically talking about, oh, shit, he's talking about a lot of things about how he wants the importance of, like, a personal connection with a female, and he doesn't really feel like, he he doesn't feel like a female should be characterized by her breast or her body and stuff Amen. like that, although it does attract him, don't get me wrong, it does attract him, but he, and he feels like some females think that, man, that's what men are only after. Hell no, I'm after what is in what's your soul. Mm-hmm. How your soul is. Yeah, like, man, they just look, sometimes men, like, including myself. Y'all steady looking at the shell. I'm looking at what's inside that. Including myself. A personal connection with a female who gets me vibe with you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I admit, I see a female with a nice body. Of course, I'm thinking about, like, fucking her, basically. But... At the same time, sometimes that shit gets old, you know? It gets old pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, I stopped that pretty quick. <laughs> hey, and that's why Silicon Valley is probably like one of the most best songs. Like the writing, the beat wise, his flow. If there was one song I would pick that should have been a single, wait, was this a single? I think so, because I'm like, I heard that somewhere. No, this wasn't a single. I think this should this should be a dope single and shit, but knowing the public, it would just go over their heads these days. Track number fifteen, celebrate. Oh. Your fit. I played that in the beginning, so I'm not really gonna play it, play it again. But um, celebrate. Yeah, this is about enjoying life and shit like that. Like a, another party track, you know. I love the vibe of that song. I'm gonna let you talk more about that song because that's like. So celebrate. The reason that I love celebrate so much, like he said, it's about celebrating. It's about enjoying yourself. And you, before this music starts, it sounds like he's having fun with other people around. It's like a little family and friend gathering. Mm-hmm. And that is what I love. I like when people gather together and have fun. All the positivity in one place is just a blessing. And this song, if you play it around there, there will be so many people having fun. I swear to you, cause I'll have fun if they play the song somewhere. I'll be that one dude jamming to myself. People gonna look at me funny, but I'll be like, "Hey, I'm celebrating my day on this earth that I get to breathe and live every single day." Mm-hmm. That's a celebration right there. Right. And um, yeah, very good song. And the last song, unfortunately, the last song, "The Dreamer," featuring my boy Talib Kweli. Legend. Know, and the team in the family choir. It's a legend right there. Facts. Him and High Tech. Black Star. Reflection Eternal classic album. The first one. Yeah. I enjoy some of the old and I enjoy the new. <coughs> and we can't forget Team and Family Choir. Yeah, I'm okay.
Huh? I don't think nothing good. The bad news is you're always doing it for me. From Adam to all your black lessons, you're going to be better than yourself. Oh yeah, I forgot what my name is. Hell yeah. I'm on secret. I'm on the table with 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 His rap style is always the same. Like his voice did not change pretty much. I don't Song. Okay, so basically, the dreamer. Um, it kind of shifts some some similarities between song by Common off his 2011 album, which is a dope, very very good album. I need to do, I need to do a review on that one. You hear mm-hmm. that? Common's the dreamer, the believer album. Oh my gosh, my favorite song on there is like this. Mm-hmm. Celebrate. Oh yeah, he did have a. You see how music just relates to each other? He did have a song called Celebrate and a song called Dreamer, and it does follow <coughs> the same vibe with it. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Okay, so the family choir is like four of his nieces, and church music had a huge influence on himself and his family. So basically the song is like a very church feel to it, like basically like uplifting yourself. Mm-hmm. Very good, so I'm where to close the album, though. Right now, this is the part where I just talk about my final thoughts of the album. Go ahead, man. Yeah. All right. And so, contrary to this album. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. It's okay. See, he's not in now. Yeah. This is a class. I mean, It can me. be a classic years from now. Years from now, people are going to look at this as a classic album. I would. Look, it even looks like a classic from the old days. Right. Right, this album combines soul, hip hop, funk, psychedelic, and gospel. What other album today does that? I mean, I think so. oh, joy. And this dude is going to be, I mean, he is already getting big. You know, he signed the Aftermath. He's already, he performed on Jimmy Kimmel. It is on Kimmel or Fallon. I think Fallon. Fallon. He. Art of Cool Festival. I I should have saved up to see him, but I heard he he did his thing he like the internet and Anderson did his thing and what else? Very good, very very good album. This year. Grammy nominated artist, member of a coffin. Right, yes. Also, um, for those of you who don't know, um, what was it? Wait, I already said that, but any more thoughts? Go buy the album, support real music. Right, buy it. If y'all don't like hearing that trash you hear today, stop complaining and go out and do something about it. Promote and encourage people to listen to something real and something that can actually make a difference in music. Music is an art. Art can, should not be taken advantage of. Right. And like, I actually had to get the album from Amazon and shit because I cannot find it in stores. Because it's sold out. Plus like, and you know, they only sell like a lot of independent artists on... <laughs> he tells stories a lot, but do listen to this. Give this dude a chance. I'm. This is damn. This is almost an hour we've done this review, but I just noticed that. But this is a dope ass album. If there was one album you can play if you have a girl with you, this is the album. Girl, friends, family, family reunion, family cookouts. reunion, golf, hang with the golf. Other than that, must have your collection and 
stay tuned because you know he's going to be doing a lot of videos with me coming soon this August. He also has a YouTube channel, The Shamar Show. I'm Dollars, a, the S is a dollar sign. I'm going to put a link to that. Um, I'm going to put a link to that once I finish editing the video in the description. I'm going to upload a video tonight. It should be up by it's 2.48. Most likely by 4 o'clock because, you know, this is like a long video. So possibly by 4 o'clock this video is going to be on YouTube. And I had a, a good time reviewing this album. Got a lot of stuff off my chest. I had a very good time reviewing this album. Um... What else should I say? Me and him have a song in the making. Song in the making, too. Me and him. So, watch out for that. Also, um, I uploaded the One Less Color in the Rainbow Lifted Sessions. It's already on my channel. On his SoundCloud. SoundCloud, Bandcamp, Twitter. What else? Um, oh, one more thing. Um, the Vinyl Collection, too. Check that out. I got some gems. I, I didn't show you the vinyl collection. I don't think so. I got the vinyl. It's like next to my fridge. I'm going to show it to you later. All right. But yo, this is your boy, MC Reg. It's your boy, Coogee. Stay black. Stay blessed. Have a good night. Stay safe.